Kelly loves roller coasters. She really wants to ride this one, which is called the Dragon of Death. But she knows that she needs to be tall enough in order to ride it. Let's take a look at how tall Kelly is and how tall she needs to be to ride the Dragon of Death. Kelly was recently measured at school. When she was measured, she was measured as being 49 inches tall. In order to ride the Dragon of Death, you have to be at least 54 inches tall. Kelly is not equal to 54 inches, but she wonders how many more inches she has to grow before she can ride the Dragon of Death. To describe this situation, we can use an inequality. Let's take a look at what we know. We know that Kelly's height is 49 inches. We know that her height has to be greater than or equal to 54 inches in order to ride the Dragon of Death. There's some number missing between 49 and at least 54. So we can put a plus X here and now we have an inequality. Notice that you can be at least 54 inches tall, and so that is why there is an equal to here. And if you're taller than 54 inches, you can also ride, so that is the greater than. Now, we can solve this just like we would a one-step equation, and then we'll know how many inches Kelly needs to grow in order to ride the Dragon of Death. First, let's subtract 49 from each side. These cancel, bring down the x. x is greater than or equal to 5. Kelly needs to grow at least 5 more inches in order to ride the Dragon of Death. Let's take a look at another real-world inequality. When Kelly realized that she couldn't ride the Dragon of Death, she decided to go on the bumper cars instead. She, we remember that Kelly's 49 inches tall. To ride the bumper cars, you have to be at least 42 inches tall. Let's write an inequality that shows this situation. 49 is greater than or equal to 52. The 49 is Kelly's height. We're just going to call that K. And the 42 is the bumper car's height. We're just going to put the BC for that. Kelly's height is greater than 42 inches. So Kelly is all set to ride the bumper cars. Again, an inequality helped us to describe this situation. Max has one dollar. He wants to buy penny candy. However, not all the candy is a penny. Max likes these really chewy kind of candy bars, little tiny ones, and they are 30 cents a piece. He wonders how many he can buy for his dollar. Max wants to know how many of these little candy bars he can buy without going over one dollar we can write an inequality to describe this. 30 cents times x equals a dollar. How many candy bars is represented by our x? We're going to multiply that times the 30 cents, and it's not going to be equal to a dollar, though. We need to write an inequality here. Let's get rid of this, and let's write 30x has to be less than or equal to one dollar. A common mistake is to use an equals, but when something has to be less than or equal to a dollar, and in this problem we said we didn't want to go over a dollar, so it has to be less than or equal to a dollar, we use an inequality. Now let's divide both sides by 30 cents, and we have x is less than or equal to 3.333 and it repeats. 
The three is the key number here. Even though Max will have a little bit of money left over, he can't buy more than three candy bars. Max can buy three candy bars for one dollar.